okay so let's continue with our discussion about selectors so in the previous one we had seen that we were using the selector type of the name of the tag now the issue that we noticed here was that whenever we use the name of the tag what's happening is that all the tags that are there in your document are getting selected so over here when i click on the button fine the paragraphs both the paragraphs are hiding so if we look at this example this is here again now i have added two buttons and two paragraphs fine now uh, our script says that the selector button on click we can hide this so now what's going to happen is if i click any of the button the same action will happen so that's a problem here problem in the sense maybe you want to target a single particular paragraph or heading or something so if i click on this you can notice this same thing happens and even when I'm clicking on this button the same action takes place so there are two issues that we are facing here right now is that one is that the selector is the paragraph selector is picking up all the paragraphs and uh, the action which is defined is taking place on both the buttons I might want it something happening different on this button and something happening different on this button fine let's see let us say if I copy this piece of code fine same thing I can write it another part and so this looks like this is for the first button and this is for the second button and here I might say instead of hide there is another one called as show show is opposite of hide so if you click it should hide and when you click paragraph should show up so now if we assume that this is for the first button this is for the second button then what should happen is on click of this button this should hide and click of this button this should hide but that is not going to happen basically what it says is when we click on this both the actions are now taking place one the first one happens and then the second one happens and here also the same thing happens okay so this is not what we are expecting to do so we want to identify these buttons or paragraphs separately for that we are going to use the selector type id now this comes from basically your css concept if you know css you know that you can define id fine and you can define classes now id in terms of css as well as HTML basically means every element can have a unique ID so like we can give this an ID with the attribute ID and say this is paragraph 1 and I will now identify the second one as paragraph 2 fine similarly we will add IDs to these buttons as button 1 and this button as let me just take this below so that it's easier to view this button id as b2 fine now we have two paragraphs two buttons and different ids now keep in mind ids have to be unique in the document you cannot repeat the id that's the point after id we will discuss about the class part now when we have a unique id for the buttons and the paragraphs now we can target them one by one so let me just comment this out we will use this later on fine let me comment this portion out okay now in the previous one we were saying that when we click the button it was hiding so now first we'll start with one basic thing that i want to hide the paragraph 2 so to target a particular id we can refer to the id as hash and the id name when you use hash and some value it refers to a id in the current document so keep in mind in html while declaring the id is declared directly over here the reference is in this format the format basically follows the format of how you declare it in the css okay 
it's not necessary that something that is declared in the CSS or it has to be declared in the CSS because IDs are used in multiple cases. So here, now I am targeting this. And if we look at our code again, what happens is when I click on this button or because button is not specified with an ID, only IDP2 is specified. So if I click any of the buttons, it's going to work. And when I click on this particular button now, what happens is second paragraph is hiding. Okay, let's reload. And if I click on this button, second paragraph is hiding. Now, here we have been able to target a particular element based on ID, specific element. Now we can do the same thing by specifying ID over here instead of button. Because IDs are directly targeting that element, fine, we don't need to specify the element name. And now let's say on B1, we want this to happen. So if we look at our code again, fine. Now I have said over here that, sorry, hash has to be put, keep that in mind. So here hash B1. So when whatever element has the ID B1, on click of that element, we will hide the element which has ID B2. So here, let's go back. Now, when I click on the second button, nothing happens, you can see. And when I click on the first button, it will hide. So basically now what we are doing here is that with the help of IDs, we can pinpoint a particular element. We can specify the action or we can target the element which we want to use associated with the event. And we can also specify the target where we want to take the action by using this P2, fine. Now here, the same thing you can do is that you can give a comma and specify another ID or another element that is allowed. So basically when you give commas, you are targeting multiple of them. So either it could be anywhere of there as per your use. So if I say hash P2 and say, let's say H2 over here. So now here I'm specifying one element based on ID, another based on H2. Now if there, there are, since there are two H2s, both of them will get targeted, fine. So let's have a look at this also. Now let's reload. Now these are two, these are the H2s and this is the one. So when I click on this, you will notice that one we have specifically targeted with ID and others we have targeted with this thing. So this is a possibility that you can do. But whenever we are targeting with ID, our concept is that we want to target a particular specific element over there. Now using this ID concept, I can go ahead and use my second piece of code over here. Same thing which I have used is I will make this as P2 only, hash P2, we'll target P2, fine. And here we will do it as button two. Now what is going to happen over here is, now we are targeting button two and on click of button two, we will show the element, okay? So now both the buttons we are using for different purposes. And here the mechanism that we are using is, targeting our element on the basis of the ID. So over here, let's reload this. So when I click this, the paragraph ID 2 has been hidden. When I click on this, the paragraph ID 2 is shown. So this is how we manage something with the IDs. So here, what we have discussed about now is about IDs and two effects that are there, hide effect and show effect, fine. Now generally the show effect will only work if any element is hidden, fine. So we have hide and show effects we have discussed and we have also discussed about targeting based on the ID system, okay. Now, in the next one, we will discuss about the class, okay? With a similar example, we will discuss about how we can target elements based on a class.